Family, I have been trying to adjust this camera so that you can't see the rings in my glasses. <laughs> the ring. <laughs> anyway, you're going to see it, whatever. I wanted to come on to talk about my new initiative, Happy Light Being new initiative. Um, it's called New Earth Collaborative Seed and Feed. And this was born from a vision or a dream that I had um, maybe about three years ago. Um, it was a vision of me planting seeds in a new earth environment. Um, and it was so poignant to the point that whenever I would think about it, it would bring me to tears. I would be so happy and giddy inside that I would cry. Even right now, <laughs> I feel like I want to cry because I want to help people understand how to nourish themselves. Um, there's no such thing as food insecurity. Um, we've been tricked to believe that. There's no such thing as that. There's only food sovereignty. And food sovereignty begins with you planting seeds. One seed at a time brings sovereignty, right? So, and I and also I admire Mama Miti. I don't know if you know about this woman in Kenya. Her name was Wagati. Um, let me see. Wangari Matai. And she was known as Mama Miti. And she planted all, she she provided tree seed saplings um to women all in her um region of um, Kenya where she lived. And eventually these trees were planted all over the country of Kenya. Um, and this one woman <laughs> from this effort, from this one African strong, courageous woman, they were able to reseed the entire country of Kenya. So I am, and she, she won a Nobel Peace Prize because of it. So if you want to read more about her, go to my site. There's a link there. You can go check it out. Um, meantime, what I would love for you to do, uh, is to visit my site at www.happylightbeing.com slash free dash seeds. Drop your email there. You can leave a message if you wish your address, um, and you'll get your seeds. This month's seeds are spinach seeds. I love spinach. Um, I have arugula coming too, um, and some type of lettuce. And then I'm going to move to some peppers, some tomatoes, things like that. Um, also, within the um, when you get your seeds, you're going to have a link so that you can go find the growing guides. You can learn how to grow the seeds. Because seeds, you know, they have to be in certain climates and temperatures. You can always create a temperature. They do it every day. <laughs> So you can create a temperature so that you can gr grow your um, seeds. And then once you grow them, I want you to eat them. <laughs> I want you to share them. Please share the food. Share the seeds and share the food that comes from those seeds. Because we're trying to learn how to be free with our in our thinking about eating. We keep thinking every time there's a there's some type of event. Uh, that might impact us ne negatively as humanity, we run to the grocery store. We don't run to the backyard. We don't run to the shed where we've been preserving things. We're running to a grocery store and then that, the shelves run out of food that's highly preserved and not really good for us anyway, right? I haven't figured out how to make toilet tissue yet because <laughs> I know that was a problem too. But I have um, really thought this out and I really want to be a part of those who are operating on that high frequency to create new earth, right? I already wrote this plan <laughs> in my soul contract. So it's only natural that I'm going to do it, right? <laughs> okay. So um, visit my website, drop your email, and you can get your free seeds. I thank you so much for participating in this endeavor. Um, it's not only for us as humans, it's for our planet, right? It's for those who come after us, right? It gives us more clarity. It helps us to think better, to live better, to breathe better, and to, to, to treat each other better, right? That's what this high vibration, it's about high vibrational foods, 
frequencies, right? So I look forward to hearing from you. Be happy, be light, be love. Namaste.